I'm wearing my hat like this the entire video, I don't care. All right guys, today's video is on what's called knee valgus, or is more commonly known as just your knees caving in. Uh, this can be done during squats, jumping, and really any kind of movement. Now the first thing I want to explain is that there are certain forms of knee valgus that are more dangerous than others. Specifically, when the knees collapse on the way down in any form of a movement. This is much more dangerous than say the knees collapsing on the way up. Now, why does knee valgus happen? Well, this can be many different things. One reason could simply be weak glutes, weak external rotation muscles, and you just have a hard time keeping your knees over the toes or where they need to be during these movements. Another thing could simply be improper positioning. When you're out of position, all kinds of bad things can happen to you during any kind of movement or exercise. So today I come to you with this one cue that I like to tell people, and that is spread the floor. No, I'm not telling you to torque your knees. I'm not telling you to push your knees out. I am telling you to spread the floor, like you're trying to rip the floor apart from underneath you. And I'm certainly not telling you to screw your feet into the floor. This is a completely different cue. I don't teach any of those. Now, the idea behind spreading the floor, and actually if you just stand up right now and do it, you'll feel all those external rotation muscles and abducting muscles down the thigh begin to turn on. It's much easier to keep the knees where they need to be when all these muscles are already firing before you even begin the movement. Now, what a lot of people will notice at first is that doing this before squatting or a jumping motion might restrict your range of motion. Now, the reason this is, is because now all the proper muscles are on and tight, like they should be. You're, you should not be lax going into any kind of a dipping movement. The simple remedy for this is to practice it more. Build range of motion in this like you would anything else. I'm not telling you to stretch, I want you to be tight. That is how you stay injury free. Simply squatting and jumping with this cue in the back of your head will slowly over time build range of motion. Alright guys, that's it for today's simple video. If you liked it, let me know. Leave any comments, questions, or concerns at the bottom. We'll see you next time.